Mario Kart Wii was a game that was very, very popular when I was little. During my early childhood, everybody was playing this game. Everybody loved it. And I absolutely love this game too. Or do I? Hello, it's a me, Chara's Toys. In today's video, we shall be talking about. about. why Mario Kart Wii is kinda. eh. bad. for various reasons for me. It's a childhood game for most people. But, for me, I just don't see the hype around it. And now that I've said the base introduction of this video, let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about something here. Nitro Tracks. I think they're a bit unproductive, really. There are a couple I like, though, like Maple Tree Way, Toad's Factory, and Rainbow Road. The rest just don't stand out to me in any way at all. Like, you've got Moo Moo Meadows, and you've got Grumble Volcano, which are very boring. Moo Moo Meadows is just very short and boring, whilst Grumble Volcano is also still an average length for a Mario Kart track, but it is very boring. It's just a volcano. Then there's Coconut Mall, which I just think is a bit overrated. Because it just kind of doesn't feel like Mario Kart, really. Because it just looks like a mall that's just being used as a racetrack. Also, you can't go into the shops either in Coconut Mall. And then you've got DK Snowboards Cross, which is known as DK Summit in America. It's just too much like DK Pass for me, as a, someone who was dead nostalgic over DS. And then you've got Dry Dry Ruins, which I don't know, but it just really bores me. Because it's just going inside a ruin that has pokies in it, instead of doing so much more with it. And then there's Wario Goldmine, which is also a bit boring. And then that Bowser's Castle in the game. I don't really like it, it's one of my least favourites to be honest. And then let's move on to the next bit, the Retro Tracks. Some of these I don't think are the right choices, and some of these I think were just rubbish ports from their respective games. For example, Waluigi Stadium is literally just the ports from Double Dash. Nothing new has been added to it at all, which makes it not fun as it was. And for the DS tracks in there, why would they just go for Yoshi Falls? There are obviously way better options there, such as Airship Fortress, or even Luigi's Mansion, and Delfino Square, Desert Hills and Peach Gardens. They all pretty much look the same as they did in DS. What I will give credit to though for Nintendo is that they brought back DK Jungle Parkway, it's one of the most underrated tracks and least talked about tracks there is. I'm really hoping it gets remade in Mario Kart 9. Let's move on to the next bit, which is the base game parts. Something I question why it exists is Auto Mode. Why? Just select manual if you ever play the game. Just do it. Auto just makes it way worse for you. The controls are a mess already. You don't really need to make them any worse, actually. The wheel-like things for you to put the controls in seems like a pretty interesting thing. At first, it just makes you have to do everything at once. And then next up, what I've got to say is battle mode. Battle mode seems really unfinished to me. It's, it's just balloon mode and and coin runners. The tracks for the battle mode is not actually that good either. They're just like big squares. The only exception I've got to say is Funky Stadium, which is the actual only good one. And then there's something close to mission mode in this game, like Mario Kart DS. 
but it's at the same time not anything close. Because instead of doing missions like race this guy or race that guy or bosses, you just get challenges like carts only and on every single track or something. Which is kind of disappointing that they didn't bring back the mission mode feature. And now for my conclusion, I think it's just overrated as a whole is because it lacks good content mostly. Let's hear the fans' views! The Banana Council disapproves of this. <laughs> the fans had something good to say. And there we have it on my very highly controversial video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe. It would help me a lot to, to my fabled journey to 1000 subscribers. I am Chara's Toys, and then I, will, I shall be therefore signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.